Hi, I'm Angela from EmpowerCrystals.com and I make healing crystal jewellery. Today I'm going to be talking about the healing properties of citrine. If that's the type of video that you like to see, please do click the like and subscribe button down below. And if you watch me on IGTV, do pop over to my At Empower Crystals account and pop me a follow. Thank you very much. So citrine, the first thing I want to say is I want to get it out of the way at the start is there's two types of citrine you can buy there's heat treated and there's natural citrine now citrine and amethyst are basically types of quartz with the same minerals and what happens is amethyst um, uh, is, is purple because it's not heat treated um, but what happens to citrine in the earth it becomes heat treated it, it's, it's exposed to extreme heat and it changes color to that beautiful um, golden green yellow color so this is heat treated citrine um, and personally energetically I prefer working with it I've had better um, results with heat treated citrine and I always use it um, in my crystal grids and um, spells that I do this is natural citrine and this is from the Congo and Congo citrine is um, especially associated with Kundalini energy as well but um, that is the natural citrine that is naturally heated within the earth um, to create citrine um, personally I know I personally think the heat treated is a little bit prettier but um, energetically, I've just found it's, I've had a lot more success with it. But up to you, I sell both, so you can choose whichever you want to buy. So with citrine, it's really good stone. It's energizing stone. Basically, if you're wanting to start a new job, start a new business, get money for specific reasons, citrine is your stone. It attracts success, it attracts wealth, it attracts prosperity. It also increases intellect, motivation, creativity, revitalizes the mind. So it's really perfect if you're going to be starting a new business because you're gonna be getting all those new business ideas. It's especially good if you're going to be starting a creative business so if you're going to be making things within your business and selling them for money it's very good from that because it stimulates that creativity it's all surrounded around the sacral chakra as well which is all around that sort of um, energy level so it's really good it stimulates that chakra it uh, stimulates success it attracts um, all wonderful money, anything that you need to start a new project like this. It can also be related to new projects at work that you want success in. So, for instance, if you've got a big sales team and you're having to start in a new area or something like that, uh, maybe creating a new training module, something where you create something and it's for your job where you earn money is very good for that because obviously it's going to be stimulating the creativity of your mind and it's all going to also going to be working on another level um, attracting success and wealth and prosperity it increases joy and happiness and enthusiasm it brings in that sun energy brings in joy happiness also it's quite good if you want to start a new project and you're lacking confidence in it because it brings in um, an increased self-esteem an increase in your own self-confidence so if you're gonna you're starting a project and you're having doubts and worries and you're lacking and you're doubting yourself it's a very good stone for negative parts of all uh, that come with starting a business um, it will also work on another level where it actually releases fears and depressive thoughts so if you are starting a new job or creating a new business and you've got all these doubts and worries um, you're getting quite depressed anxious about it everybody does when they start a new business it's just natural but this will help you work through it 
but it also help you be successful in your your project or your job or your business whatever you are going to be doing now how i like to use citrine is i use them in crystal grids i especially like to use um, raw crystal points in crystal grids so something like this would go beautiful in the middle to create bring that energy in and um you can also use of course the natural citrine if you prefer that and um i i've actually done a um crystal grid for prosperity where i've used citrine so i'll um add a link to it here um but um generally i think that using it in crystal grids is a great way of um focusing your energy into whatever you want to um, push that success to and um, generally I use it in prosperity grids but you can use it for a specific thing so if you're aiming to save money or get money for um, a new car for instance so, so some specific thing you know even a new washing machine you need you need the money you know next month for a new washing machine your one's broken you can't go to the laundry anymore then it's really good for for concentrating trying to get that money in the other ways i like to use it is to wear it i actually wear mine when i want a bit more money or when i've been to job interviews in the past i tend to wear them for for quite a few days if you're going to a job interview don't just wear it when you're going to that job interview i would be wearing it for a few days beforehand to build up that positive energy in you basically when you're wearing a crystal it's within your aura and it's bringing in that energy and its 3d structure is sat within your aura then your aura will start to vibrate nearer to that 3d energy if it's sat on the other side of the room less likely to have an effect but it is all about intention so if you've got a crystal grid and you've really spent a long time bought all the crystals arranged them all spent time activating and powering them because they create like an energy center within your home that pulls in that energy also a good thing about citrine doesn't need to be cleansed as much as other stones I found if you are going to cleanse them I would just generally I you can't put them in sun any quartz I wouldn't put anything in sun that's quartz based because it can change the colors of the stones um, so I would personally use dry salts um, sage or um, Tibetan bowls um, for cleansing quartz based stones so um, I, I would never use um, sun energy to um, cleanse stones because you can never tell which ones are going to um, lose their colour or change colour and that goes the same for heat actually so don't leave them on a radiator I've had um, stones break because they've got knocked down near the radiator and they've cracked with the heat. So you have to be quite careful um, with these quartz based stones. They can be a little bit sensitive to heat and UV light. So just bear that in mind when you're using it. But generally, um, I would be using it um, to bring in that happiness. Um, it's a nice one to wear when you want to increase joy and happiness in your life so wear it for those periods when you're feeling a bit down you need that little bit of extra motivation um, I'm also going to be doing next week a um, Reiki healing with this um, citrine candle holder so if you're interested in that so that'll be basically prosperity happiness um, Reiki healing um, please do tune in next week and um, and I hope you um, to see you there. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please do click the like and subscribe button below. And I hope to see you next week. Thanks for watching. See you next time.